Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be going over the Mixer Brush Tool. And you can find the Mixer Brush Tool over in your Tools panel. And it is under where the uh, regular Brush Tool or Pencil Tool is. And it's right here at the bottom called the Mixer Brush Tool. Now just open up a blank canvas. Uh, you can have it on white. And then I just create a, a new layer. Um, just so you can mess with stuff on there. So what the mixer brush tool does is it defines multiple colors on a single brush tip. So you can actually mix with the colors in the background or other brush strokes that you're making and it kind of like um, simulates a real world brush. So let's uh, demonstrate a little bit. So go ahead and just pick any color. You can select it from your foreground color or you can select from up here in this uh, color chooser up here. And then go ahead and select a brush. Now I found that uh, some good brushes for this, if you go um, to load your brushes, come down here to the wet media brushes and then pick this one right here that's next to the, like these little circly things. That's a pretty good looking, or that's a pretty good brush for this. So it looks like this, like a, a regular brush might look. All right, control Z. All right, so here we go. We're gonna um, just draw on this canvas and I'm gonna be on the background and I'm gonna set this to 100% here for the wetness. And I'm gonna start drawing. And you can see that it's kinda transparent or whatever. If I set this wetness down, start drawing on it, it's different, or it's uh, it doesn't mix with the background because it's not like as wet of a paint. So if you think of um, this here as actual paint and think of when something's not wet and it makes like paint is not wet and it mixes with other paint that's not wet, it's not really gonna mix that well. But if you have two wet paints, they're gonna mix pretty well. So if I start uh, mixing here, you can see it doesn't very or mix very well. Let me dr bring this up a little. And now you can see that it mixes a lot better. So it looks like actual paint is mixing together. All right, let me go back. So that's like a little bit on wetness. So let's just start by going up here to the options. We've got a set of different values or set of different presets up here that control these uh, values. We've got dry, moist, wet, and very wet, and then different variations of them. So remember, think of the this as paint. And remember that dry paint doesn't mix with dry paint very well, and wet paint mixes with wet paint very well. So let's just go ahead and just like wet or something like that. So I'm gonna keep this at 50%. Actually, I'm gonna put it at, let's see, let's put it at 100%. And I'm just gonna increase my brush size a little bit. Drag this across. So remember that line is at 100%. Now let's switch and make a line through. Now this is at 100% wet, this line is. Now let's go to 0%. And this is what 0% wet looks like. So remember that. Now let's go over to the next thing called load. Let's get this back. Now load right here, this is the amount of paint that's on added to the brush. Now, if you have a high load, you can go and brush continuously. If you have a low, so if I bring this all the way down, you can see that the paint dries out quickly and all I can make is a small brush stroke. So that's how load works. All right, let's go back to here. Now, the next one we got here is mix. Let's um, select a preset. Now, now our mix is uh, great, isn't grayed out anymore. I'm not sure, really too sure what it just was, but mix controls the rate between uh, the brush and the canvas color. So I'm going to de demonstrate this um, the same way almost that I demonstrated the wetness. So let me just draw a red line going through here. All right, and then I'm just going to switch to my blue and we're going to start this mix out at 100% and go through this line and then let's go to the mix at about 50% and then the mix at 0. Now the mix 
when it's at 100% comes from um, the mixing comes from like the canvas. When it's at 50%, it's a little bit of both canvas and the reservoir. And when it's at 0%, all of it comes from the reservoir, which is your paint. Now, I'll demonstrate this again with um, different um, settings here at the top. So I'll set this wetness to like 15%, somewhere around there. And then the load will turn that up to 100%. And you can see how the mix is going to uh, differentiate. And I'll set this back to um let's set this to 50 percent and draw our line switch and then let's go again let's go for our this is going to be the mix at a 100 percent here you can see it's barely doing anything let's change our mix to around 50. you can see a little more more mixing and then let's change our mix to zero and you can see that there's definitely more mixing there so that's how mixing works. All right, so let's go to the next one, which is flow. Now, flow controls the amount of ink that the brush has. So if I just go at 100%, you can see I got a decent amount of ink there. Actually, it's full. It's the full amount. If I go to 1%, I don't have a lot at all. So it just controls how much uh, ink or paint, if, if you want to think of it as paint, that you're painting on. So let's go 50% ish you can see that it's still fairly a decent amount but one is bare one percent is barely anything now we can apply this to images as well now when i go ahead and try to paint it's going to mix i put my mix up let's make this um a wet brush and just start painting and you can see that it's mixing with the background of your image so I can um, make some effects and if you work with this right and have some of the correct settings you can create like a painted like a painted effect if you uh, try to mix all the colors correctly and stuff like that but let's switch to our blue and see what goes on with that you can turn essentially turn your image into a painting and make some really cool looking things so you really don't have too much of a need for like if you don't have a paintbrush and a what are those called i don't know what they're called a canvas and all that stuff you can practice your painting skills on here so that's pretty cool so that's it for the mixer brush that i wanted to teach you about hopefully you learned a bit and have the basics of the uh, mixer brush tool and can use that in your image or in in your next project so thanks for uh, viewing this video and I bid everybody a good day. See you later.